Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. All right, so we're going to do all signs reading. This will be a love reading. Please keep in mind that this is for the collective signs, okay? So it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits and leave the rest, okay? All right, so let's see how we're going to do this. Um, Let's see. We will start with these, I think. And I want to use these. All right. So give me a message for Aries regarding love. What do they need? Improving health. Okay. So you might be dealing with a situation. You might be in a relationship. Okay. And with forgiveness. All right. Forgiveness communication might actually improve a situation that you're going through if you're in a relationship with someone here. All right, so let's see. Give me messages for Aries. We have separation. So some of you might be separated from someone right now. Um, you kind of feel like with this could be the one, this is your life partner, but um, there's a need for compromise. And also some actions may have, be may have been taken in the past that caused some type of separation between you two, okay? So there's a need for communication and, and um, yeah, ooh, okay, so there we go. Okay, I got it. All right, so someone here, we got a runner here in a codependent relationship. Someone here um, has commitment issues, all right? Um Kind of looks like someone realizes that they were bringing this type of energy into the situation. And it uh, looks like someone here wants to see if they can reconcile. All right. We have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Hold on for a minute because I just got something else here because someone here may want to reconcile here try to yeah but someone else here is like no nah, i've had enough starting something new Ooh, ouch aries okay so wow okay i get it i get it okay so aries Kind of looks like this situation here. You were dealing with someone here. Yeah, you're blocking this out. Aries, you're blocking this out, cutting this off. You feel like this is a toxic situation. There was someone here that um, uh, really, now that you're looking back at it, you might feel that this person is very codependent. They might have, uh, you know, had some ego issues, maybe wanted you to chase them here. And, you know, all is forgiven, no hard feelings or whatever, but I'm cool. I'm cutting this off with separation. At one point in time, you may have felt like this was your person, okay? But coming to some type of realization here is like, you know what, it's best for me to just block this off because they bring dark energy to the situation. But, um, yeah, if there's a runner, there has to be a chaser, yeah. And somebody realizes that, you know, this is not a an ideal situation. Somebody is very unhappy here. Mm. Yeah, somebody has um, thought about this long and hard and figured that it's best for them to focus on themselves and separate from the situation here. Clarify, this could be the one. Yeah, they found out that this person, oh, snap. Yeah, they found out that this person was not who they thought they were. They were wearing a, small, a false mask. There was illusions here. Look at that with the seven of cups speaking out over the chariot. Okay. Um, this is something that may have caused some type of, you know, deep heartache here, but you realize that, you know, this isn't going to go anywhere. I have to move on from this. Oh, damn. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Starting something new because you're definitely not happy in this situation. You want something stable. There's a lot of regret here, even dealing with this person. So you're holding back. All right. Deciding to pull back your energy and focusing on um, improving your emotional and mental health. Let's see. Give me messages regarding that. Yeah, what did I just say? Focusing on your stability here. All right. That's clarifying improving health. So, um, yeah. Um, 
Let's see. What is the hidden truth about this person? What are the messages about this person for Aries? Damn. Aries, I was hoping this. You speak to, to me through music. I don't react when people mention you. I want you. Wow. Okay, so um, Aries, I don't know if this is you or your person. I think it's your person here. Honestly, um, there might have been a lot of things that, you know, a lot of, you know, moments that you guys have spent together where, you know, you got your favorite songs or you might introduce each other uh, to music or maybe this person is not really uh, verbally expressive. So maybe this per this person actually, um, or maybe this could be you, um, maybe this person actually, you know, gets messages regarding you or from you, or maybe they're sending things to you um, through uh, music. Maybe certain, because I know that certain people, when they don't really know how to say what's going on in their heart, um, people will play certain songs around you, okay? So that's in hope that you actually connect the dots. All right, that's just some people here. So this person may try to act like... Um, and that, you know, they're not really bothered by this connection, but deep down, someone really wanted this to work with you or you wanted this to work with this person. But somebody knew exactly what they were doing here as far as their actions that they were taking here. Um, yeah, it kind of seems like somebody here plays games. Oh, they might like a lot of attention here, sweetheart. Okay, so let's see. Addiction. Somebody has some addictions here. All right, could be drugs, could be relationships, could be attention here. I don't know, but there's a need to release this situation, okay? Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go, and I think this is what's happening with you, Aries. You're realizing that this was a toxic situation, and you there's a need to let the situation go, okay, for your own well-being. Okay, let's see. Is there anything regarding new love for Aries? Wow, oh, that's kind of sad. I don't want to use this deck. Let's see. Anything here for new love for Aries? Please and thank you. Wow. All right. So, new love for Aries. Aries, you're definitely walking away from some things here. Looking at... Uh, yeah, look at this, the Eight of Cups and the Chariot here, sweetheart, okay? Looking for something new. I do see that some of you are, you know, kind of, your feelings are hurt here, okay? Feeling some type of way. Um, feeling the need to guard and protect your heart here, all right? Also, I see you standing your ground here with some, you know, some folks. But, yeah, you got something else coming in here, sweetheart. All right, it looks like this might be a connection, um... Yeah, definitely. Someone's coming very slow towards you. You learned some things from the past, so you're using your intuition here. Possibly not really saying a lot uh, when it comes to um, your wants, your goals, your dreams, your desires. You're just trying to see what this person, uh, the type of energy that they're coming with, okay? Using your discernment, learning from the past. Yeah, the magician. Yeah, you walked away from somebody that was pretty manipulative here okay so you're you're doing um pretty good by yourself right about now okay it looks like you're pretty content happy that you released something that was like a weight on you let's see yeah oh look at this yeah what did i tell you you walked away from something left it out in the cold and overall it's brought you a lot of peace success and you're actually going to have a successful relationship show up for you too okay very compatible here. Oh, yeah. I get it. Anything else for this situation? For the new person? So I see that you're going to take some time to heal. Yeah, successfully moving forward. All right. Someone here walked away from someone that was very toxic. Very toxic. Closed it off. Yeah, look. What did I just say? Five of Pentacles left this person out in the cold. I'm gone. See you later. Bye. Hi, priestess here. You possibly have gone silent from this person too, protecting your energy, which is really a trip because the same cards that were showing up in this deck and on the bottom of the deck when I was reading are the same cards that are showing up here. 
Now your intuition is telling you it's best for you to guard your heart. Guard how many, how close you allow someone to come in, okay? At least for now, until you decide to make a decision about who you're going to allow to share your life with. All right, Knight of Pentacles. I think this was a, oh, okay, no, it wasn't. Let's see. That was the King of Pentacles coming in, okay? Wow, this is a trip. Okay, so let's see. Mm, now I get it. Mm, okay, so Libra, very few of you have someone coming in from your past. All right, that's coming in. One is stability this time. Okay, but you may block this person and cut them off. All right, others of you have someone that's coming in that is uh, taking their time here. Uh, kind of looks like this person is a very familiar spirit. This person might be very family oriented too. This could be someone that you've known for a long time but haven't had a relationship with them. I don't know. All right, yeah, they're definitely coming in expressing some type of emotion here. Oh, that's a trip. I just noticed something in these cards I never noticed before. But okay, anywho, so like I said, the King of Pentacles actually did show up in the deck. This person is coming in here. So now it looks like someone is coming in offering cups of love. They're coming in very expressive. Uh, one is stability, okay? This person sees you as the star. This may be someone that has been watching you for a minute, um, or you could be watching this person too, just to make sure that they're coming in with the energy that they showed up with, okay? That they're staying with this energy. You want someone that is stable here, someone that you can count on. Okay, so let's see. This person is showing up for you. Yeah. Some of you actually might... Um, some of you are working on yourself right now, all right? But some of you might actually meet someone through your job, around your work here, or while you're fo focusing on yourself, okay? All right, let's see. All right, but yeah, I think this is going to appear out of the blue, too. So, yeah, things are coming together for you. I see that you're focusing on yourself, spending a lot of time, you know, getting your grass greener in your yard, okay, and moving forward investing in yourself you do have someone here that is going to come in and uh help oh hold on what the fuck is this hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on okay so it looks like if there is someone coming in here, this person is going to invest in this connection. So you're going from the seven of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. This is cool. You're manifesting somebody in your life with the ten of swords here. There's a cycle that is definitely closed out. It is ended. Justice is being served here. Karma is coming in. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of balance coming in here. Absolutely. New beginning. A lot of happiness, celebration, um, <clears throat> possibly newfound clarity coming in here as well, looking at things from a different perspective. All right. See a lot of collaboration here with friends and things like that. Someone that brought a lot of drama, chaos, and things like that into your life. That person that you're looking back at um, as a disaster, you're moving on from this situation, closing out that cycle, okay? Bringing balance into your life. And one of the reasons why you are actually letting this situation go because things were not equal. It was not fair. Yeah, so you're dropping the tower here so that you can have stability and peace in your life, okay? So you have someone new coming in, Aries, and you're definitely cutting out a toxic situation. All right, so give me a minute to get my situation together and I will move on. To Taurus. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, look in the description box for the link to my website, okay? All right, so let's see. What do we have for Taurus? What's going on with Taurus and love? Please and thank you. 
right, Taurus, we have, it's a yes. Dang, it's a double, it's yes, yes, okay. All right, Taurus, I see you. What's going on here with Taurus and love? Okay. All right, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You're going to be speaking to someone here. All right, getting to know each other. All right, so you're laying your walls down here. All right, opening up to someone, honestly discussing your feelings with each other. I like it, all right? Um, kind of seems like the more you open up with this person, it says your bond deepens even more. That's pretty cool. All right, I like it. You got a good thing going on. <laughs> what messages do we have regarding this situation? And Taurus, please and thank you. Abundance, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. True love. This is emotional, physical, and unconditional. I love it, Taurus. Yes. All right, so you got some definite love coming in here. Um, if this is a past person or somebody that you've been dealing with here, someone may want to come in and apologize to you for something or whatever. I don't know. Or vice versa. But right about now, it kind of looks like you're meeting someone new. All right. If you're already dealing with someone here, um, this could be, yeah, I'm so attracted to you. Look at this. I left before you could leave me. Mm. Okay. So this might actually be someone that you are currently dealing with here. Like I said, there may be someone that has some type of um, insecurities or whatever. Maybe this person is coming in like, hey, you know what? Um, I'm truly sorry that I acted that way. You know, um, is there any way that we can actually, you know, have, sit down and have a talk and, you know, let's really discuss some things because there are some insecurities that I got. Of course, this person is not going to um, say it like that, but it is, it is what it is. Um, yeah, you may feel that this situation is over. It's not, okay? It's not. This is a soulmate here. Um, yeah, yeah. You might have gave this person a second chance or whatever, but you're kind of like, you know what? I don't know. There's something here. Really can't let this go. Yeah, somebody's very nostalgic here. Very attracted to you here. Woo. Somebody sabotages this connection and is constantly rebuilding. Okay, so there's a need to put your foot down here. There is a need to open up and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation because, yeah. So, uh, look at this life partner here. Okay. Because someone here is like, you know what? We're about to dead this situation. I'm cool. Why are you being distant? All this other stuff. What are you running for them? And now this person might come in and tell you, you know what? Hey, check this out. You know, I've been acting weird. Every time we get close, I kind of take off. And it's because this situation is very intense here. Um, I've probably been through some stuff in the past, you know, and it kind of triggers me a little bit. So I'm kind of hesitant. You might see my flaws and all. When you really get to know me and I'm afraid you might not stay. So I don't really want to invest all my time and energy or I didn't want to um, because you might end up leaving me, you know, and damn, then I realized you're the best thing in my life that's ever happened to me. And everywhere I go, I'm always reminded of you, you know, so I'm going to have to just, you know, put my big girl drawers on, my big boy pants on or whatever it is and. You know, just take this leap of faith. You understand? Because being without you is worse than, you know, me realizing that this may not, may not work out eventually in the end and having to let you go. I'd like to see what happens here because I believe you are my person. All right. So, ooh, yeah. Okay. This person may feel that you have other people involved or you may feel this. I told you somebody wants to apologize, my love. All right, for not being as close. Yeah, waiting for the opportunity to, you might be waiting for this person to come in with this apology. Yeah, oh my goodness. Oh, Taurus. Someone wants a fresh start here. They want to take it slow. Let's date, let's romance, let's get to know each other. Let's open up, let's have this heart to heart conversation. You understand? There's so much that I've held back that you don't realize is here. You understand, I, I've been hiding a lot and I want you to know the real me. So let's spend time together. Let's go out. Let's do this thing. Let's grow this together. Okay, sincerely. Let's take this to the next level. Oh, Taurus. All right, someone here has possibly been talking to Source, thinking about this situation. Like I said, you know, 
I don't know what you did to us, but somebody love you. Well, I love you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. All right, any other messages for Taurus regarding this situation? Taurus, your stuff was straight, straight to the point. Yeah, somebody, I'm not making any more bad decisions here, okay? Um, this is a twin flame union. This person feels like you are their soulmate, okay? Um, like you, that connection between you two is so strong that um, they keep gravitating back towards you no matter what. They want to work on it, all right? If they have some toxic uh, traits, this person wants to work on it, okay? You possibly open this person's eyes to their behavior as well. Um, definitely want to resurrect this situation. It ain't dead. I'm not letting you go, Taurus. All right? So, let's see. Uh, let's get information for those of you that are not dealing with someone right now. And see what we got going on here. For the people that are single, 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 ready to mingle. Oh, shit. All right. Some of you might work too hard, too. You don't have enough time to get yourself out there, let your face be seen, okay? So, kind of give some balance to that, all right? Spend some time outside of work, outside of, you know, your hustle. You know, to have some fun, relax, and meet some people. Any messages we got in a new person? Oh, you got communication coming in here, sweetheart. Mm, somebody trying to take that leap of faith towards you? Page of Pentacles, okay. Or is this you? Let's see. Any messages for Taurus, please, and thank you. I might have to split this uh, reading up into six and six. I don't know. All right, so we got the Page of Cups. You got some communication coming in here, sweetheart. Definite communication, some sweet stuff. All right, somebody wants a Ten of Pentacles with you, absolutely. Somebody might have kind of, you know, kept their feelings hidden, all right, or just chilling. Yeah, somebody's definitely coming towards you, coming towards you, for you. <laughs> and the Emperor, okay, so somebody's ready to take charge in this situation. Kind of seems like to me somebody has been sitting on the sidelines waiting for the opportunity to, uh, you know, come towards you. This person, you may spend a lot of time talking to this person. Um, maybe not about, you know, relationships or whatever. Maybe this is someone that you uh, just have a lot of, a lot in common here. And over time, this person, you know, may have started to grow some type of attraction for you, okay? Um, I kind of think that this person has an innocent type soul. This could be someone that is a bit younger than you. Doesn't have to be, but I kind of think this person also enjoys um, alone time as well. The simple things in life, okay? So, uh, let's see here. I, I really, how can I put this? I kind of think that this person... Um, they don't require a lot. This is someone that you may work around. Doesn't have to be. But this is someone that definitely keeps an eye on you. They've been holding back. Somebody is a little bit, you know, kind of low-key obsessed with you, okay? Um, very sexually attracted to you as well. Hmm. All right, for someone here, this could be um, same-sex relationship as well, okay? Very, uh, ooh, this person might have private thoughts about you, too. Okay, this could be someone in your friend circle or someone that you um, communicate to or with at work or something like that or a friend circle. Let's see. Yeah, justice. Let's see. Somebody's going to come in. This is, uh, could be Ten of Pentacles again. Six of Pentacles. All right. This is someone looking for equal give and take, too. All right. This person might start off giving very little. All right. Let's see. They want to make sure that this is the right move. I get it. All right, four pinnacles. 
this is you, you may hold back trying to figure out, oh God, why? We got mirror and energy here. Three of Pentacles. It's going to come together. I told you this person is watching you. If I didn't, I meant to. They're watching you. All right. So, Three of Pentacles. All right. This is going to come together. Definitely coming together. All right. You have communication coming in. Forward movement as well. Heavy communication coming in. Let's see. I just got that they don't want you to get away. Where are you going? Why do I get the feeling that you're, you're, yeah, I was just going to say, why do I get the feeling that you're leaving? You're walking away. Like I said, I just asked you, where are you going? You got the wheel of fortune here. Where are you going? Or is this person trying to hold on to you before you get away, before the opportunity ends with the death card here? Where are you going? Let's see. All right. Anywho, let's get more. Give me more information about this new person. The four of wands. They want the four of wands. They want stability. This could be somebody at work. Six of pentacles. Okay. This person might be given very little at this time because you guys are at the work scene. This person may be hesitant to approach. All right. Like I said, this could be somebody younger than you. All right. Oh, this is a trip. Okay, so look, this person may have said something to you before, but you may not have taken it seriously. You may have thought that this person was joking around because of how they approached you. May have been a little bit. I won't. I won't say. Well, maybe a bit immature, kind of, or kid-like, child-like. You may have kind of like brushed it off. All right, so this person is regretting coming towards you like that. Let's see. Yeah, but it looks like they've been thinking about this for a minute, but they're coming towards you with a with a solid offer here. Something more stable, hoping that you take taking them seriously. Yeah, this person has been thinking about this situation, about moving forward towards you, okay? How do I come towards Taurus and let them know, hmm, that I want a future with them. This person is obsessed. They've been obsessing about this situation, about you. You have their full attention. Full attention. Damn, nose wide open. Okay, Taurus. Yeah, this person's trying to figure it out. How do I bring this into balance, okay? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, so let's also see. Are you dealing with other people here? Or are they? Is that the reason? No, this person feels like you rejected them. They had an offer. You didn't take it. They may feel that you're interested in someone else or, oh, shit. Why did they feel that way? I was going to say this person may feel that they are not good enough for you or they're, you're not what they're, they're not what you're looking for. So this person may feel like if they come in and make an offer towards you, you might not take it. This person feels like they're 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 saying in their hourglasses running out, sweetheart. They gotta act fast. If they don't, they're gonna lose you. This is how this person feels. This person feels like you got a lot of attention here. Justice. They want to give you the ten of pentacles, hoping that this works out. But this person is kind of doubting it. They're they're like, you know what? If I put myself out there, let Taurus know how I feel that I want a connection with them, they may actually turn me down, reject me. Hence the Four of Cups, missed opportunity. This person wants the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles with you. I mean, the Ten of Cups here. Oh, my goodness. But you may feel they want to come in and take action. You may feel like this person is like, why are they showing up as pages? That's the problem. Something about either their, their actions are immature or something about maybe they don't have a lot to offer. I don't know what it is, but this person really wants to take that leap of faith. Damn, this person could be younger than you, Taurus. I know that I'm younger than you. I know that you're used to someone that, you know, is around your age that has more to offer, whatever. But what I can do is I can't offer you all the, the fine things that you deserve in life. 
or the type of stability that you're wanting. But what we can do, we can grow together. We can build together. If you just take this leap of faith on me, I got love for you. You understand mad love for you. I want to bring in balance here, but will you accept my cup? I, I got the Ace of Cups for you. We can build the Ten of, the, uh, the, uh, ten of Cups together. You understand bring balance into the situation. But will you give me a chance? Will you give me a chance? What you gonna do? Yeah, see this person. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You got a decision to make, sweetheart. This person feels like they're gonna cut them off and leave them out in the cold, okay? Because you may feel that they cannot provide what it is that you need. There's lack here with the six of pentacles here, okay? You may feel that, you know what? I'm going to be the one that's putting in all the effort here. So, I don't know. You may cut it off. Oh, look at it. Yeah. See, you two are looking at things from a different perspective here. All right. You may actually be kind of shocked that this person's coming towards you. You might actually give them a chance, okay, to see if things balance out. You might be equally yoked with this person here, okay? This might be a great connection. All right, it may take some time for you to build with this person here, but you're building together, all right? It may take a bit of patience with this person, okay? But it looks like, you know, they're they're working towards a connection. They want to grow. They want to take effort, okay? Give me more, please, and thank you. Yeah. This is someone that wants to make a decision. Oh, what did I say? See, they were showing up as a page now. This person is growing here. They're watching, looking, learning. They're learning from you as well, okay? This person wants this to work out. They want to work together, collaborate together. Yeah, making a decision, okay? This person is going to be bold enough to come towards you and say, hey, you know what? Let's make this work, okay? I see you as someone that I that is my life partner. All right. That, yes, yes, okay. That stability is going to come, but it's going to come in slowly, okay? This person is going to mature over time. All right, three of pentacles, clarify, please, and thank you. Yes, look at this. Mm -hmm. Invest, let's walk together, let's grow together. Leave those things behind that did not serve you, okay? Whatever that mindset is, whatever these people are, I'm going to love on you and I'm going to love on you correctly, okay? Just, you know, trust me, walk with me, grow with me, all right? Learn with me. I like it. All right, let's see. Yeah, there's transformation happening here. You might be concerned about this situation here, if this is actually going to work out, but I'm going to tell you, if two together work together towards prosperity, yeah, you can manifest exactly what it is that you want and you desire. All right, but you have to take action here and work together. Look at this. That's beautiful. So, you know what? Some of you might be actually learning and growing with someone here. Um, they want you to take that leap of faith on them, you know? Sometimes, you know, that's the best connection huh? right there, you know? So, there's that. All right, so that's about your new person. All right, so let's get into it. Who do we have next? I think we got, what, Gemini? Oh, Lord, Gemini. Okay, so let's see what we got going on for you. <sighs> All right, Gemini. What messages do we have huh, for Gemini? All right, Gemini. I don't know why, but... Get more information just popped out, okay? So if you're dealing with someone and you got some questions, sweetheart, um, before you make a decision about this situation, you might want to get more information, okay? Say some prayers, see what you know what you can find out, okay? All right, especially if this is someone new, take your time. All right, so let's see. Now I just shuffled these and we still have yes on the bottom of the deck. That's funny. All right, give me messages for Gemini, please, and thank you regarding love. Thank you. Ooh, okay, within the next few weeks, and whatever this is, it's like, no, it's a no for me. Okay. All right, so Gemini, it's time for you to take action on the situation here. All right, so within the next few weeks, um, you probably will be making a decision about a connection that is coming towards you or that you're in. Or that you're considering. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, damn. 
Uh, you got a lot, Gemini. Release your ex. Okay, it's a no. All right, let it go. Wow, on the bottom of the deck, you got retreat. All right, so sometimes for me, that is actually the deuces card, all right? It's usually talking about, you know, taking some time with your loved one um, out together. But there's that. Okay, so um, Gemini, you are calling in your soulmate, a new love here. But there is some deception regarding a past person, okay? Within the next few weeks, you may end up hearing that about this person. Also, within the next few weeks, you may be running into a new love that is actually your soulmate. And you run into this by releasing your ex, healing family issues here, and uh, recognizing deception and lies and things like that. Nine times out of ten, there could have been a third-party situation here. You could have found out that there was someone here, okay? Yeah, and damn, there's issues here too, okay? So with this being said here, now there could be some, some, you know, family issues going on here um, that are affecting your relationship. Could be that you got family interfering in this relationship. I don't know. It could be that um, maybe you grew up in a household that had some type of dysfunction when it came to relationships and things like that. And maybe you carried that on in your relationships and maybe you're realizing this. Maybe you're healing this um, situation, okay? Maybe you have a family with this past person. Maybe you're trying to heal the connection so that at least both of you can co-parent, all right? But whatever there is here, there are some lies, deception. There could be cheating. No matter what it is, uh, there is something going on here that, yeah, needs your attention. You got to make a decision about what it is that you... Um, need to do here all right in order to heal so that you can call in this new person okay but this past person is definitely a no uh within the next few weeks like i said you could be running into a new person here so i think um there's going to be some information that you are going to get about your past person that is going to be kind of clarifying okay it's kind of seals the deal all right so wow Let's see. <laughs> Funny part is you got the golden mirror narcissist on the bottom of the deck. That's funny. All right. Maybe you might find out something like that about your person. And now we got the snake. Mm. This is crazy. What's going on with your past person? The coffin, the butterfly, grow and transform your life. Okay. Let's see. Give me messages. About the past person, please. And thank you. The snake. <laughs> Competition. Malicious. Look over your shoulder. The third party. The other woman. Okay. Yeah, and that's crazy. I know that card by heart. Didn't even have to look at it. That is something else. Okay. The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things. Mm -hmm. Like I said, there's something about your past person that is about to come out. Okay. Be okay with it, all right? Now, that's just your confirmation. You possibly already know it in the first place, but now this is confirmation to what you already know. Now, you're able to move on, okay? Receiving what you need, that information that you need, progression ahead, absolutely. Time to move into calmer waters and moving into calmer waters. You're healing your heart, all right? Healing your connections. Also, um, some of you... Might have been dealing with someone that was alienating you from your family. Um, making you, a, this connection possibly could have caused some type of strife between you and other family members. I see that you guys are going to be healing this connection and moving forward, okay? Now you got your, your blinders off with this person. Um, because it kind of seems like somebody here was gaslighting you. They could have been a narc where they were, you know... Mm, Using their narc traits in order to manipulate you, okay? In order to push you and alienate you away from your friends and family and things like that. So it looks like you're bringing those connections together, okay? And uh, yeah, it kind of looks like you're, you know, feeling a bit better about yourself and opening up to healing and changing, okay? All right. So someone here may have some closure issues because there is... Um, information that you haven't received yet uh wait for it you'll probably get it okay the confirmation coming through all right so let's see anything else regarding this situation yeah 
reciprocity. You're bringing in a connection that there's going to be equal give and take, okay? It looks like you got a divine counterpart coming in. So this is a definite soulmate that is coming towards you, okay? So we're releasing the past and um, moving towards new connection, healthier connections. But the first connection that you're healing is a connection with thyself, all right? Healing your heart, um, mind, body, and soul, all right? So make sure that you are um, doing that before you take on the responsibility of another relationship because being in a relationship is a responsibility. Um, someone is giving you giving you their heart and you're giving someone um, yours. So that needs to be handled with respect and care. Okay, so there's that. All right, so give me messages regarding the past person. Mm, this person is crazy. Now they're starting to understand the, the connection, okay? This person is sexually attracted to you, but they also know exactly what they were doing by self-sabotaging this relationship. Uh, this person says, I don't react when people mention you. You could be dealing with someone with Aries in their chart because I think someone, I think Aries had that in their, their reading as well. Wow, this person does want to reach out to you. They have some... You know, some things that are going on in their life and that they would like to share with you, okay? Kind of seems like this person wants to pull you back in. Um, this person might have certain things going on in their life that they try to share with you. And it is because they try to keep you emotionally pulled in. Uh, just a way of opening up communication, keeping the lines of communication open. But I honestly think that this person is very toxic. And uh, yeah, I know I crossed the line with you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So um, yeah, this is a trip. You got someone here that is kind of overbearing. Uh, someone here that possibly manipulates your your energy by making them the center of your attention, okay? So much so to where this person might be causing type of, you know, um, emotional injuries and triggers and things like that in your life, but you may be overlooking it because this person is such a huge distraction with all their needs, their wants. Uh, you could be dealing with someone here that is an actual drama queen, okay? There's something always going on with this person, um, always a need for attention and, and you know, not equal give and take, kind of selfish here, okay? Whatever this energy is with this person, even your, your angels are like, oh my God, would you just release them already, okay? I've had enough of this person, okay? So there's that. Letting this person go, and they might try to manipulate you to come back, especially if they see that you are with someone else, okay? All right, so let's see. Any messages? Okay, so I'm going to put it like this. You got chemistry with someone. Wow. There's going to be passion there. Source is telling you to be patient. Everything will un unfold in divine timing. Um, start off with friendship first. This could be someone that is a friend and it could be leading to more. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Okay. You can be uh, completely vulnerable with this person. Just know when to have your boundaries up. Okay. Don't just, you know, I'm an open book and just, you know, come on in. Okay. All right. So, um, there may be some type of denial that you're going through with this person here, the past person. You might kind of think like, you know what, um, this person could not have been doing all the things that I thought, but eventually you're going to find out some things that whatever was done in the dark will come to the light, especially if it's for your highest good and you're making an authentic um, um, effort to change and connect with source. Source is going to see exactly what was working, uh, let you see what was working against you, okay? And the more time apart that you spend with this person or from this person, I should say, you're definitely going to um, notice the difference, not the difference, but you're going to notice some things. Things will come to light. It's going to bring some clarity, okay? All right, which is really a trip because I didn't even have to do two spreads for you. You do have a new person coming in here for you and your ex, all right? So we got the two-in-one. I didn't have to ask. 
All right, so yeah, we got the retreat card here. Leave this person out on the cold because there's some type of betrayal with this past person, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. Move forward, heal from this situation, focus on you first, and then you got a commitment coming towards you, okay? Yeah, someone that shares the same energy, lighthearted energy, feeling free. Um, now it's time to take uh, back control of your life. Find that passion, that drive that you have before you got with this. Oh, and I was getting ready to call it a succubus. So for some of you, you have this negative entity that has attached itself to you. Take some time by yourself. Clean your home, okay? And your home is you, mind, body, spirit, soul, whatever it is. Start from the inside, work out, okay? And get your foundation stable, which is you, all right? Take some time alone to kind of chill, reflect, um, connect with source, get back grounded and whatever, and know that you have something serious, a commitment coming towards you. Now, I want you to know that this past person will probably come in and try to apologize, okay? Mm, but I see you still walking away from this situation, all right? Apology accepted, but I'm cool. And like I said, this person is kind of still lusting after you. The intimacy part was right after that, okay? So with that being said, Gemini, it looks like this is what I got for you. Anything else? You got any new person? Mm, be strategic about what it is that you want here, sweetheart. Wait for your opportunities to come in, all right? Um, what I would do, I would be very patient, all right? But I would definitely take action here, all right? Your person is coming in. They're just coming in slow. You might have this player person or this person that uh, you can't really depend on come in after you too with the Seven of Swords. So just be mindful of that, all right? And look forward for the future. Take action. Focus on you. Look as beautiful as you can. You understand? Stand in your power. All right. And know that you are that one. All right. And what I mean by that, you're the one that has say so who comes into your life, how long they stay. And uh, if you know, if they get a chance to wreak havoc in your life as well. OK, so focus on you. Do you, boo? All right. Just do you. All right. So there's that. All right. So moving on to cancer. All right, so Cancer, what do we got going on for you and love? All right, I gotta go back through here and look at the timestamps. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to do six on this one, and then I'm going to do uh, Libra through. Pisces, I think, after this. Yeah, I'll probably do it. Okay, so for cancer, we have improving health. This could be your physical health. This could be the health of your relationship, okay? Big happy changes. I like it. All right, cancer, I see you. All right, all right, all right, all right. So... A lot of things could be improving for you too. Money. Um, wow. Yeah. Your actual overall mental, physical, and health and things like that. Retreat. Some of you. Oh my goodness. Okay. So look. What is this? We got retreat. Time to disconnect from the world. Okay. Usually this is for you and your person. But we have unrequited love here. I'm concerned about that. All right. So maybe cancer, you might be actually backing off of a person here. Okay. Um, or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. Okay. This could be a cross watchers read. Someone here may be backing out of a community, uh, backing out of a connection. And this actually may be making you a little bit, uh, you know, kind of. Feeling better here, all right? Opening up yourself to new opportunities. Um, hell, this could have been a weight on your chest, okay? But let's see. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Give me one regarding the situation. Soulmates, okay? So this is a soulmate here. What is this? 
past life love. Wow, that's crazy, right? Soulmate landed over here on the deck. So when my cards always land on another deck, I always look. So this is a past life connection. All right, so this could be a soulmate, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract, the Grim Reaper on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this connection is over. Now, what I am thinking here, you may have run into someone that that connection was so intense. You may, you may have thought that that um, when you like when you embrace this person, it's almost like you two almost melt into each other, like how much you guys are so into each other is is almost like you're intertwined like this person gets your your soul it's almost like your soul was split in two and it finally came back together with this person but i gotta tell you um you might be the light side of this person or this person might have come into your life to allow you to look at your shadow side okay so um whoa Okay, so you might, yeah, this this uh, connection is very intense, okay? This person may actually force you to look at certain behaviors of yourself here, all right? Um, wow, ouch, okay, yeah, this is definitely over with. Somebody is growing and transforming here, okay, so... I don't know if it's uh, if somebody has some behavior that they needed to kind of work on here, you know, and maybe this person came in with some toxic energy and things like that. And someone had to, you know, realize that, damn, you know, I was doing some of the stuff that this person was doing and that is not becoming. So let me make some changes here. Or you may have be, you may be the type of person that gives too many chances and you needed to set up some boundaries with this person okay and you know what's love got to do and i'm hearing tina turner after after a certain point in time when a person just you know starts doing too damn much i still love you but you know what i love me too and i can't stand what you're doing so you gotta go sweetheart okay you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. All right. Matter of fact, you stay here. I'm out. All right. So it might be one of those situations here. All right. So give me more. So it kind of seems like once you um, take your, yeah, somebody's going through dark night of soul. Looks like once you take your energy back from this situation, you're starting to see things differently. Okay. So this person forced someone to, yeah, time's up too late. Too many chances given. This person forced someone to go into shadow work here. Someone here, because of this connection, is looking at themselves differently. All right. This person that you're dealing with is inconsistent. They're quick-tempered. They're possessive. All right. And they have suspicious behavior. Mm. Someone here is, um, not only do they have suspicious behavior that's kind of crazy this person might be kind of sneaky you might not be able to trust them uh they might have secrets and things like this but this person doesn't trust other people as well all right so you need to find out why this person possibly has attitude no problems okay attitude problems you know uh quick to go off on people and slow to listen and uh you know these type of things here you know um very impulsive, reckless kind of thing here. I don't know, but it kind of looks like, you know what, you've had enough of the situation and just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of cool on this. This is terrible. All right. Yeah. You possibly have actually broken up with this person and reconciled and broke up and reconciled and every time nothing really comes together here. Let's see. You're ready for something else. This is just so complicated. It's unnecessary. A relationship shouldn't be that damn complicated. Hold on. Okay, so you're watching this person, observing every action, and now that you're looking at this situation, it's like, you know what? Some things have come to light here, sweetheart. I'm seeing things from a different perspective, not only about you, but this connection is making me look at myself. So let me go within and deal with me. And the more that you deal with yourself and you start healing here, you're wanting to close this cycle out because you're realizing here that what this is is not love. Damn, and I just heard, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Okay. Uh uh. So yeah, what is love? Okay. So re-questioning, questioning everything. This connection. What does this person bring into your life? Okay. 
And time apart might actually bring some clarity. Give me more. One more, please, and thank you. Ooh, okay. So somebody says, I love you unconditionally, and we will be together again. Obsessed much? Mm, toxic much? I don't know. This person might not want to let you go. All right. They may actually come back for another chance. Let's see. Any other messages here? Settling. Are you settling? Don't settle. No. Somebody's got to do some inner child here work. Some inner child here work. Oh, I lost myself for a little while. And settling. Oh, snap. So, Cancer, you could have been going through something at one point in time and impulsively got with this person, allowed this person in your life. You may have realized that you settled for less than you deserve. Now you got the blinders off because you're going in healing here. All right. Looking at some things here. This person brought something. This person took off somebody's shades. All right. Lower them glasses. You know how you look over your glasses. And like you start to see things from the real perspective here. This is what's happening. All right. So, yeah, you lost yourself for a minute settling for this person. What was I thinking? That's what I'm hearing. All right. Settling for less than you deserve. Now you had to pay the cost, though. You paid the cost here dealing with this person. Yeah, redemption. Ooh, okay. So now somebody, ooh, there may have been an unexpected pregnancy here too. All right, so let's see. Clarify. Okay, so somebody got some behaviors that uh, is not becoming. There is a possibility that uh, there was an unexpected pregnancy here. Um, there is a possibility that uh, you may find out or someone may find out that they are not. Uh, it's not the pappy. I don't know. But someone's coming in wanting to redeem themselves, wanting to apologize after you walk away. Yeah, but see, you got a new perspective. You're looking at the situation. You know you're just settling for less than you deserve. It was possibly just the sex that had you kind of like, you know, that same energy. This person brings in that same fiery passion here. But when it comes to everything else, you are not equally yoked, okay? When it comes to business, when it comes to maturity, when it comes to all kind of things here, okay? Look at this. You might actually have somebody else that is focusing on you, too. You might be focusing on someone else as well. Yeah, there's something unexpected here. Okay, so whoever this is, they may come in with a ring or one in marriage, something like that. But somebody is, is cheating here. Oh, okay. Somebody possibly wanted commitment and they wouldn't commit because they were dealing with other people. Look what's sitting here. They were dealing with other people. All right, something happened here. Somebody may have gotten pregnant or got someone pregnant here. And now someone here is like, you know what? Ooh, cancer is ready to abandon ship. I need to just go ahead and go. There's somebody else interested in them as well. Somebody here is dealing with somebody on the low. Secretly, betrayal. All right, you may find out about this, about this pregnancy or whatever. And now this person is trying to redeem themselves by trying to give you what you've always wanted. Let's let's go ahead and take this leap. Let's do this. It's just me and you. I got a new perspective. I'm seeing this thing. You're you're what I want here. Wow, this this person is something else. Um, Cancer, you're dealing with somebody as toxic as hell. I don't know what to tell you about this, sweetheart. If I were you, I would run. And then it's crazy because over here, I'm not even using this deck. I have the rings here, okay? Ooh, with the tree, somebody here could have some type of financial growth, some type of financial stability. Maybe this person um, wants this commitment out of, because of finances. Maybe you're financially stable. I don't know. But there has to do something with this person, okay? You're financially abundant, stable, 
your long term. They know that they can depend on you, okay? Somebody here is dealing with somebody that is reckless as hell. Like, they're immature. They create havoc in their lives wherever the hell they go. I don't know. Anywho. Somebody is going to try to come in and try to rectify this situation, but there's unrequited love here. Somebody realizes that this uh, situation what brought this together was somebody was going through a situation. They made some impulsive decisions or they were sexually attracted to this person and that's what kept this bond together. But now someone is actually looking at the situation like, you know what? Damn, that's all you bring to the table. That's it. You don't have nothing else to bring to the table. I mean... The conversation is like one-sided because you possibly feel like you're always, you know, in mother or father mode with this person teaching them something. And yeah, that's kind of cool that you can, you know, help somebody learn. But damn, every once in a while, you would like somebody that, you know, let's have a conversation that both of us are equally, you know, exchanging intellectual ideas and, and you know what I'm saying? Intellectual feedback. I don't want to be the, the student or the teacher all the time. Let it be equal here, okay? So there's that. All right, so, uh, yeah, I almost wanted to bring in another message for this one. Let's see. Yeah, see, somebody's getting left out in the cold. There's some regret here. There's some regret over hooking up with this situation. Somebody's been thinking about this. All right. Great disappointment here. Someone here may be drinking. Somebody might drink a lot here. All right. Damn. This is crazy. All right. But I see somebody, you know, leaving this situation. All right. Let's see. Yeah, there's a dead situation here. This is over with. But you're moving on to something better. Look it. I like it. All right, we got the seven of cups, investing in yourself, having fun, hanging out, all right, doing your thing, a lot of different offers coming towards you, everything ain't all good, so you got to take your time, decide what it is that you want, but I see you getting a lot of attention here, all right, some of you might not be noticing it, I do see that you're working on your finances here as well, but you have someone that is going to come in that's going to, you complete me. Okay, I'm just saying. So you got somebody that's coming in very compatible here as well. The Two of Cups, Soulmate. Ooh, family oriented, which the Two of Cups landed on top of this deck. This is what's here. All right, so you'll be growing a family with this person as well. All right, a lot of happiness, celebration coming together, spending the holidays and stuff like that together. I love it. All right, and your person under that is like in the Nine of Swords. Like, damn, I screwed up. I screwed the hell up. All right, so let's see. Yeah, see, this person here was not in balance with you. This past person brought all kind of discombobulations and conflict, chaos, and all kind of stuff in the family, okay? It was hard to kind of balance with this past person. All right, so there's a lot of regret there. But, sweetheart, you got other cups here to pick up and move on, close the cycle out, walk away from it, close the door and walk towards success, happiness, move forward, all right, positive movement, give me more, please and thank you for cancer, yeah, it's time to invest in yourself, sweetheart, close this past cycle out, endings with the number 10, you've had enough, you've put enough in, enough effort in, to this reckless person, this beast that came in just wreaking havoc in your life, all right? There's no amount of love, no amount of mentoring, no amount of, you know, um, counseling or whatever that is going to, how can I say, tame this person in this relationship and really not trying to tame them. But like I said, this person creates havoc, you understand? And now that you pull back your energy and stop fighting with this person and wrestling with this person, you're starting to see what's going on. You understand? This person could also have legal issues as well. They could have been to jail. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know. And you're dealing with all this stuff. There's a lot of regret for this connection. All right. But it does look like you're freeing yourself here. You're starting something brand new. I like it. 
All right. Yeah, you brought down a tower here, sweetheart. All right. Taking my power back. I realize the truth about this connection. And damn, this toxic. I'm out of here. All right. Deuces. All right. As you should. Yeah, but freeing yourself up with the Nine of Pentacles, focusing on your stability, being independent, transformation happening with you inside and out. All right. A lot of growth abundance. You might realize that once you separated from this person, sweetheart, your life is like starting to flow. Money's coming in. Love is coming in. You get the attention, the prosperity and all this other kind of stuff. The peace and when, uh, mental well-being here is coming back. All right. All because you took your power back. All right. Let's see. Also, you're possibly able to save money by, uh, without this person as well. All right. So I got to tell you, this past person is going to be one of these people that come in and try to re-reconcile with you. OK. And I said re-reconcile because you reconcile with this person before. They're coming in with um, promises of love. Promises of fidelity, promises of, you know, I'll change, you know, give me a chance, give me a chance. You have given them chance after chance after chance. You've been working on this, sweetheart, all right? I'm just saying, it's like, damn, how much work can I put in, you know? This is almost like a 12-hour job. I go to work and I come home and I got to work again? Come on, now you're supposed to be my peace, you understand? Not my problem. It is what it is, all right? So, yeah, it's time to take a break. You may have already taken a break from this person, all right? Um, some of you may travel um, or things like that. I don't know. This could also, you know, damn, I just heard some of you might have car problems. This person is manipulative, and I kind of think that you're realizing this, okay? Um, other things are coming together for you, too, without this person. You're you're apart from this person, and uh, or either there's distance between you and that person, you're starting to realize that things are changing in your life because you're changing that energy. OK, pulling back from this person. And I was getting ready to say this hazardous person. That's crazy. All right. So someone you need to, to realize what's going on, sweetheart. OK, focus on someone that's actually going to bring prosperity into your life abundance all right someone that will nurture and love on you that wants to grow with you bring balance and equality in the relationship you understand clarify the two of cups yeah see you're taking action towards someone else you got offers coming in but you're also loving on yourself too cancer i saw i here with the queen of cups going for a new connection something that you know there's a lot of open communication back and forth you understand a lot of passion a lot of drive a lot of forward movement together progression together all right some of you may end up having uh, babies here as well all right and like i said you know you're going to be expressing feelings for this person as well a lot of lots of communication coming in but i'm got to tell you that past person is coming in they want to talk to and come in and apologize because they see you with someone new. All right. So just be mindful that um, someone that you have a hell of a connection with and it's a sexual connection. This person is going to come in and try to entice you because you have moved on, started focusing on yourself. And guess what? Your pinnacles are looking good, too. This person might be hurting for money. All right. Clarify three of cups, please. And thank you. Absolutely. Wait for it, sweetheart. Wait for it. A lot of your abundance, your happiness, your joy, your money is coming in, all right? That connection that you want is coming in here, all right? It's taking its time, it's, and it's, it's, it's coming in like molasses. So you know when it comes in, uh, like slow like that, it ain't going nowhere fast, all right? So that's a good thing. You got communication coming in here as well, all right? Someone is definitely going to tell you that they want to put forth effort. This could be somebody that you already know, but haven't been in a relationship with. Okay, let's see. Yeah, five of cups. This person also might feel that, you know, damn. This is crazy because what I'm getting here is that you might have felt like, damn, I'm just not going to find what I want. You are. You definitely are. You just got to release this person here. Block it out. Okay. Recognize toxic relationships when you see them. If this person um, 
if this connection was the type of connection that had you go within and do some shadow work too as well, this is also telling you to look at the type of people that you're connecting with. Why are you connecting to these people? What are they bringing into your life? Okay. What is the need to connect to these people? So we want positive, healthy connections in our lives as well. Okay. So you got someone new coming in that is actually going to, you know, compliment your life and not complicate it. All right, like this past person. So, Cancer, you got some decisions to make, sweetheart. But I see things moving up for the better for you, okay? So, stay optimistic. Stay open. And, um, yeah, use that discernment of yours, sweetheart, and kind of figure out why some of these people are coming into your life, okay? All right, so let's move on to Leo. <laughs> let's see what we got going on for the Leos today in the... All right, y'all hold on to your hat because the Lord knows ain't no telling what we're about to get, right? Yoda, leave him alone. All right, let's see what we got going on for Leo. All and then we're going to do Virgo. And then I'm going to chill for a few hours. And then I'll come back later on and do the next ones. And then later on this evening, I'll do the live for Leo. All Give me messages for Leo, please, and thank you. Hold on for a minute. Can I reach it? Can I? Sorry. <laughs> I want Leo to have a clean slate. Just saying. All right, so let's see. Give me messages for Leo. Clear this energy. My God. Mm. I love the way this smells. Okay, so let's see. I'm kind of nervous about this one. <laughs> All right, let's see what messages do we have for Leo in love. What's coming up for our folks? messages for Leo. Woo, Leo is a no, but we got success. Okay. What is this? What do you mean no? What's a no? So it says it's a no for me. <laughs> All right. What is this? What is this for me? Oh, Leo, it says choose a new direction. Okay, there will be success if you choose, choose a new direction. Wow. Okay. So be it, right? Hold on. messages for Leo, please. Thank you. Honeymoon and attraction. All right, Leo. So kind of looks like source is telling you whatever you're dealing with, whatever you want right now, this person that you're dealing with or looking at right about now going, hmm. Source is like, it's, it's a no. It's a no. Okay. Stop tripping. Stop looking at it. We got something else. Okay. All right. So and this is telling you to take care of yourself right now. Stop and smell the roses. Do your thing. Focus on you. You're attracting people. All right. And this says healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. So, yeah, this is definitely a no. So, some of you were dealing with someone that um, you and that person, the connection, the combination of you two is like, mm -mm, that was a karmic relationship. Okay. So, Wow. Leo, some of you could have actually been dealing with a cancer here. I don't know. All right. But anyway, there's a lightning here. Okay. So, um, yeah. There's definitely a transformation change happening here. Okay. A tower. All right. So, there may have been someone here you were dealing with that uh, 
kind of triggered you a little bit, all right? But there are some lessons here. Someone here may be a little bit resentful for this, um, about this connection, how you may have showed up in this person's life, how they showed up in yours. But it does look like there was some karmic lessons learned and needed to learn in this situation. So source allowed this to happen. It kind of looks like you are going to successfully move on from this, possibly both you and this person, closing this door with newfound clarity, okay? All right, it looks like you got somebody else coming in. You got somebody, um, we got the phoenix rising from the ashes here, okay? This is really crazy because for some of you, you will um, reconcile with someone here. And we still have the lightning here. Wow. Wow. All right, so I don't know who this is. So we got a past and a present person showing up here. All right, rekindle, new phase, renew. Change mind. All right, so with that being said, some of you, there's a highly likely chance that someone here may reconcile with someone from the past. Maybe there's been some, you know, some shadow work done here. Maybe this person has, uh, you know, kind of changed um, with, time and separation i don't know but for me it's a it's a no okay it's a no for me it's a no from source all right so we have uh getting out meeting new people out there dating uh rekindling that spark within yourself you know letting you know igniting that old passion this person might have kind of extinguished some things here you know just a disappointment of not you know this situation not working out kind of looks like you're going to be successfully moving on here closing this door all right. Also, changing the way that you think about connections and relationships. I think you learned a lot about this person and this situation. Okay. It's time to move on and close this cycle out. All right. So, Leo. Moving on. Moving on. Yeah. Struggling to overcome self-imposed limiting beliefs. It's time to look at this situation from a, uh, from a different perspective. All right, if you're kind of thinking that, you know, in the mindset that, damn, you know, um, I just cannot get in the connection that I, you know, I want. I'm never going to find my person or whatever. Stop that, okay, because that's limiting beliefs. You're setting limits on your life. What you put out there, that energy that you put out there, sweetheart, will manifest, okay? Uh, you may feel that, damn, I'm always making a wrong decision here. It is just as raggedy as this card's here. You understand? The thing is, is that look at the situations that you've gone through, the people that you've dealt with. What did you learn from those connections? Um, utilize that to your advantage, okay? And don't repeat that cycle. Um, expecting, this, you know, different results, especially if you're going back to past people. Been there, done that. If this person has not changed, if you have not changed, or both of you have not changed, it's not going to work, all right? All right, don't be ready to give up. All right, ready to surrender. No, 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 no. That's not the attitude to have, sweetheart, okay? Um, believe that source has someone for you, all right? It's just not the person that you're dealing with right here, all right? Yeah, there may have been some things revealed about this connection, about yourself, about this person here. So there's that. But what we don't want to do is sit in a puddle of self-pity here. No, 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 no. There's someone for you, but right now you got to be the person for you, all right? Right now, Source may be wanting you to look at your life and look at your relationships from a different perspective, all right? Um, you may be inviting people into your life that are not very healthy for you. You're not paying attention to the red flags and things like that, okay? They're waving in front of you like somebody's trying to, you know, call in their plane, like, hey, 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 and we're not paying attention to it, okay? So Source is like, you know what? Um, I tried to show you about this person. You decided to go ahead and give them a chance and baby, look at where it got you. Okay. So we got to be 100 with ourselves. It's time to let this connection go and move on. Okay. So it's a no for this, for this past person. Okay. All right. But I do see that you're going to be overcoming that and moving forward. All right. So let's see what messages do we have regarding this situation? <laughs> and it's funny because this was actually flipped over and it says go slow 
Take your time here, sweetheart. Okay, get to know a person. Let that person get to know you heal first before you decide to jump into anything else. I understand that sometimes that process of healing is boring as hell. And you're like, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm healed. Well, I got to put it like this. When you meet new people and things like that, sometimes you're not. Especially if you're, you know, expressing how you feel and what you want and all these other things the first five minutes that you get into a situation okay there's that all right so someone here may be um obsessing over a past life connection here there's obsession here someone in this connection is drip dripped oh my god you dripping with obsessive thoughts that's bad all right so we're um Someone here is obsessing over the situation. It's time to let the situation go. It's a no. All right. If you're wondering if this is going to happen, it's a no. If you're wondering if this person is ever going to change, it's a no. If you're wondering if, you know, if I stick it out, will it work out? I don't think so. Okay. So there's that. Someone here is unavailable. They could be in a whole nother relationship. This person could just be emotionally unavailable, not available to you. Okay. So yeah, they're unavailable. They're not able to give you what it is that you need. Okay. So it's a no. You got a decision to make. It's time to decide about this relationship. Okay. Boundaries here. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Okay. You got to have boundaries for yourself. Something is telling you to wait the timing is not right. I don't know what the hell is going on with this person here. But it's like a, oh, hell no. Wow, that's not even a no. That's a, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it, sis. You're going you gonna to regret it. Oh, but see, somebody says, I love you. We'll be together again. So ooh, somebody's optimistic here. I regret lying to you. Oh, my God. So is this this person? Is this this person? Leo, I'm starting to understand our connection. This is crazy. Who else got this? Um, I'm not sure if it's Aries, but you speak to me through music. Okay, so wow, that's interesting. Okay, so I wish I could take back my words. Okay, so, uh, wow. Yeah. All right, so Leo, so somebody is starting to understand this connection. Um, They may realize that you were possibly a past life soulmate with them, okay? Because that's on the bottom of the deck here. All right, an intense connection. Somebody else got this as well. All right, and someone here loves you, but they haven't told you. They're keeping that to themselves as well. They understand what's going on with this connection between you and them. So something about this connection was meant for both of you to grow in a way. How, I don't know, but there's a lot of regret here from someone, but it is what it is. Let's see, anything here in this deck? Oh, priority. This person wants to make you a priority. Are you marrying this person's energy? Are you? In certain aspects, you might. If this person pulls back, you may pull back. If you communicate, this person might communicate. I don't know, but that seems kind of wishy-washy to me. Either way it goes, it's a no. But there's emphasis on a past connection. I am going to get new love here. So, let's see. Give me messages for Leo, please, and thank you. Compromise. This person wants to compromise. Can we just, you know... Let's sit down and talk. This person is still admiring you. There's a lot of excitement in this connection, but there's conflict as well, okay? Um, yeah, there's trust issues here. That's what it is. Um, you two, wow, you two just might actually um, mirror each other. We will be together again, okay? So somebody feels like this isn't over. All right. Kind of looks like, you know, this person's like, you know, they want to, the overall energy in this situation is conflict. There's conflict between you two. Someone here isn't speaking on how they really feel. Um, this person could be introverted or this person is just not, oh my God, 
Okay, so this person may feel like if they express themselves, it may create some type of conflict with you too. All right. Okay. So they feel like if there was trust here, if you guys could compromise and learn to trust each other, you understand that this could actually move to a committed relationship. You two um, are on the same frequency. You might think of this person and it's because this person is thinking of you. All right. Um, this person may think of you. You may actually call this person or whatever it is, okay? You do share the same passionate energy. They enjoy having a lot of fun with you. Um, just general conversation is kind of cool, too. That I think this person really admires you in many, many ways that they haven't expressed, um, which hints why this person feels like they are in love with you. But um, for whatever reason, you guys can't see. Oh, that's what it is. Somebody yields to temptation. All right. So somebody here possibly dips around with other people. Of course, Leo, that's going to cause conflict with you. You're not trying to fucking share with nobody. I'm just saying, you know, or Leo, this could be you. It could be a cross watcher. All right. But this is causing a conflict in your connection here. Okay. So um, you got to figure out what it is that you want to do. But right about now, the way that this is going here, it's a no here because it's a lot of conflict. It's just too complicated. All right. There might be secrets here and things that you find out or something that this person has not told you. All right. So there's that. But this person does secretly admire you. That's for sure. All right. So anyway, yeah, very passionate about you. All right, so let's see. Let's find out about this new person with the attraction and all this other stuff going on here. The success. You'll have a successful relationship coming towards you. Listen to your intuition, too. All right, so let's see. Give me messages for Leo regarding a new person, please, and thank you. All right, Leo, looks like you're doing your thing. Some of you are just chilling, vibing, doing your own thing, focusing on your money, your stability, your happiness, your peace. All right. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. Just chilling, vibing. All right. Some of you um, may have an online presence here. You may actually be meeting people online. OK, on dating sites. I don't know. Just chilling, vibing, killing, you know, just kicking back, doing your thing. I never really tripped off of this picture. But this chick is in a whole pool with her, her stilettos on, her heels on. That is just really funny. I mean, she is just glammed up, vibing, chilling, looking good. I am in love with me. All right. Healing. Yes. Appreciating everything about you. All right. So, Leo, you might feel that your love life is on a stalemate right about now. You're not finding what you want. But I do see that, uh, you know, you're taking time out to enjoy yourself with friends, family, vibing, chilling. You do have some loves coming up for you, but it may not be exactly what you want. You may have your guard up because you may have players and things like that coming towards you. Or maybe it's just that you're focused on healing here and you're being patient. All right. So until you finish working on yourself or doing what it is that you want in your life, you're not entertaining too much of anybody right about now, especially if they're not coming in with the right energy. Like if you reminded me of anything that I've gone through in the past or you seem like you coming in with some BS, it's a no for me. OK, so, yeah, but look, sweetheart, you got some. Oh, my God, Leo. <gasps> I'm a Leo. Oh, my God. This is nice. OK, but wait a minute. Hold on. All right. So you might be in your head, sweetheart. Look. Leo, baby, I feel like you're looking at situations and the people that are coming towards you like, you know what, this is not working for me. I got people that are coming in towards me that, you know, um, just pretty much want to hook up or whatever. So you got decisions to make in love, actually, because you got people coming towards you, but it's not what you want. You may be feeling a bit stuck here. All right. Like, Damn, let me out of this situation, okay? I, I'm, I'm ready now. So I see that you're taking some time for yourself. Focus on healing, ready to get back out there. You got people coming for you here. 
but not what you want. But all of a sudden, guess what comes up? Ace of Pentacles. Could be money. But I think this is a stable connection that is actually going to have you kind of like in your head real quick. The overall energy is Ace of Cups. Absolutely. Leo, I see that you're working on yourself real quick, okay? I also see that you're working on leaving things behind that does not serve you. Focusing on your stability here and also focusing on healing. All right. But the Ace of Cups is what's coming for you. And the Ace of Pentacles. You might be in your head about this situation. And I say that because we have the Five of Swords in between the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. All right. So I don't really see this as being a conflict between... You and someone here, I think you're more in your head about this situation, wanting to not make another toxic mistake with a player here, okay? So, that's the thought behind that. All right, so let's see. Yeah, you don't want the past. Look at that. I don't want nothing that resembles the past energy that I was dealing with. All right, so let's kind of put these people back in this deck because I don't want to see that let's see all right give me more information for leo you don't want shit that's a burden you carried a lot of weight here all right you may have dealt with someone that kind of you know yeah this person oh lord jesus someone here uh this past connection here may have kind of um wore on your self-esteem a little bit here sweetheart okay this person yeah may have um damn this is crazy i don't know you may have gone through some things in the past before you got with this person and kind of buried the emotions that you were dealing with here so this person came in when they came in and acted the way they acted it might have kind of triggered some things here made you feel some type of way you understand uh right about now leo i see that you're focusing on working your you know working on yourself bringing balance and you know into your life um, right about now, you may be a little bit non-committal. Um, yeah, you're focusing on you, baby. I get it. I get it. That lands on the two of swords here, too. All right. So, if love isn't working out for you right now, you're focusing on yourself, as you should. Before you focus on love right about now, sweetheart, you should always focus on yourself because you would want to show up in a relationship as healed as possible. You understand? And I said as possible. You're taking action here. Yeah, and you're healing from someone here. Oh, my goodness. You could have been uh, healing from someone here that um, you had children with as well. doesn't have to be. But, yeah, I get it. Hmm. All right, so definitely a player you were dealing with. All right, clarify. That's not going anywhere with this situation. You're starting something new. The person that you were dealing with could put it could blah, 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 blah. The person that you were dealing with could have been just a sexual connection here as well. But now you're wanting something equal, balanced. All right, and you're focusing on yourself here self-love self-care you also want a connection that you know has love in it and the passion as well so this connection isn't going anywhere you're starting something new all right i don't know why i can't talk right now but okay let's see there's transformation and change happening here all right you definitely got a connection coming in for you yeah someone wants to invest Spend some time with you. Oh, my goodness. Who the hell is this? Why is this here? All right. Leo, so you've been, you're going in doing shadow work. Yeah, your heart is broken. I get it. You're big guarded here, but you got a decision to make when it comes to a connection coming towards you. Yeah. Are you going to retreat? It looks like you're going to retreat. Oh, okay. I see why. I see why. All right, you got someone here that may be juggling, may be juggling and is a bit of a player here. You may recognize this from, from point A, like from jump. And you say, you know what? I'm cool. I've done too much work on myself to deal with a situation like this. Absolutely. Absolutely blocking it out. Okay, so I get it. 
this may be the reason why you feel like your, your life isn't going anywhere. Your love life isn't going anywhere. I think this could also be the past person trying to show up again. Let's see. And you can't, may feel like, yeah, you may feel like, damn, my love life isn't going anywhere. You understand? I'm forever having to cut people off because there's no equal give and take in this situation. But Leo, I'm going to tell you, sweetheart, keep doing what you're doing. This past situation may not be what you wanted it to be because you were dealing with somebody that was manipulating the situation. Move forward here, sweetheart. Hold your energy back from this situation. You learn some lessons here, but what you don't know is that there's somebody that's already got their eye on you. All right, that wants to come in with this Ace of Pentacles. Give me more, please, and thank you. What did I say? The sun. They got the eye on the sun, sweetheart. Okay, let's see. Yeah, somebody's trying to make a decision when they come towards you. You got somebody's full attention. You got somebody's full attention. They want a successful outcome. This person doesn't just want to come towards you um, to get a connection and get shut down. You understand? Or try to talk to you and they get shut down. They're trying to look at this from every perspective that they have to, okay? That they need to. How do I approach Leo? How can I make this happen? I got to show Leo that I'm coming in for stability here. Yeah, this person is also very passionate, very attractive um, towards you too. Leo, some of you guys got some money coming in for you as well. Some of it may be involved, um, wow, travel, global, whatever that is. I don't know, but you definitely got a connection coming in, okay? I see you blocking out past people, any type of toxic energy, you're not having it. If it's not bringing fun, celebration, happiness, peace, joy, um, equal balance, give and take, and those things, you're not accepting it, okay? You'd rather be by yourself, focusing on friends, family, and those things, your own abundance, all right? Why is the Five of Swords here for Leo, please, and thank you. <laughs> Leo, you come conflicted, just a little bit conflicted. All right. Do I come out of Herman mode? Do I come out of my safe haven here, the four of wands, where I know that I am protected? I'm not allowing anyone in right now. I'm guarded at all four corners. OK, I got uh, guardians at all four corners, whichever way you coming for me, you're going to get slayed. OK, do I stay here or do I give this person a chance? Do I block it out or do I give it a chance? OK. I've healed, I've grown, I've prospered, I got five cups, I only need one more to have ten of cups. I don't know, I want somebody to share my life, but is it safe? Is this going to be a, a battle uphill in a blizzard? You understand? Is it going to be worth it? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. So I see you in your head about situations here. Oh my God. Yeah, I see you in your head about the situations. Oh, so you're about to get unstuck. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay, so we got to use our intuition with the situation, okay? You're holding back from a lot of people, from everybody. Actually, you're not giving anyone any um, type of energy here. The trippy thing is, is that you've learned some lessons, closed off cycles here, moving forward, but you're trying to figure out who to let you, who to let in your life here, Okay. I don't think that you're going to hide too much. I think you're going to be straight up front with people as well. But I also think that you are going to pull back your emotions from this situation too. Uh, straight cutthroat. Damn, Leo. Don't hurt nobody. Okay. Like I said, you're holding back here, sweetheart. Okay, and it's because you got mental conflict going on. I don't know if I should go for this or not. Should I invest in this? What are you bringing to the table and all kinds of stuff? Leo, stop overthinking the situation here, sweetheart. Go out, have some fun. Let somebody love on you. Be open with this person. Communicate, okay? And let this person communicate with you, all right? And if they don't communicate with you and if that's something that you need, voice that, all right? I'm just saying everybody needs something in a connection. Uh, some people need, you know, communication you know i'm big on communication um some people you know want your presence there you know a lot um i don't know you got to figure out what it is me personally i like my you know i like to be around people but i also like my alone space too you know some people don't like you know to be crowded and up under people all the time you understand it's kind of smothering 
Um, some people like, you know, give you a lot of attention and then all right, I'm going back in my cave. You understand? So you got to work that out between you two and compromise, okay? So, and get out of your head, sweetheart. Get out of your head. All right, so. Let's see. Anything else for Leo? Just because I is a Leo. Let's see. Anything else for Leo? We got a new person. Leo, I like it. I like it, sweetheart. You got a decision to make, okay? You got someone that's coming in very passionate, okay? Look at that. Looks like you two are going to compliment each other. This is going to bring in a lot of balance, okay? You got somebody that's very passionate. This is a go-getter. This is also someone that's financially stable. This is loving, nurturing, caring, um, a provider here, okay? So I really like this. Like I said, you know, once you decide to let something go, you know, that did not work out, um, focus on healing here, do some shadow work here, heal from the past, close out those old cycles and be forward, be forward, be open to accepting something new in your life that, you know, get that passion, that drive that you had back and you decide to move forward with that, sweetheart. I think this is going to be very successful. The new direction is actually a good thing for you to do. And also focus, you know, and focus and listen to your intuition here, okay? All right, so, goodness, Leo, it's always something, right? All right, so Virgo, let's get into these messages for you. And then I am going to come cut this out and I'll come back for the other half later today. All right, so. I need some me time. <laughs> and some study time. I got a lot of reading to do. Let's see. Any messages for Virgo? All right, what we got going on, Virgo? Any messages for love for Virgo, please and thank you. Any messages for Virgo? Thank you. Bottom of the deck. Ask your angels this situation, this situation will improve. All right, so something's about to get better, possibly within the next few months. Okay, I don't know what you're going through, sweetheart, but whatever it is, Musa. All right, this too shall pass. All right, let's see. Give me messages for Virgo, please, and thank you. Just for Virgo, please. Thank you. All right, Virgo. We got honeymoon and children. Romantic feelings on the bottom of the deck. All right. So there may be children affecting this union, or there may be someone younger than you, or some type of emotionally immaturity going on. We'll see. All right. But uh, yeah, or there could be some childlike feelings with this person, okay? Um, Maybe this connection, you know, has you feeling all giddy and, you know, having a lot of fun playing and wrestling with this person and all that. I don't know. All right. But we'll get into it and see what else is going on. All right. Give me. I'm going to take these. All right. So some of you could have separated with someone recently. Okay. Went through a breakup. Now that there's something new coming in, oh my goodness, okay, so you got somebody that is uh, stalking the hell out of you, <laughs> all right, meeting people, going out, talking, chilling, all right, meeting, conversing, savoring the moment with the coffee cup, feeling uplifted, friendship, all right, so some of you could start off friends first, just really vibing and chilling with this person, uh, talking, chatting, doing whatever, you know, and things kind of progress here, uh, it says a dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. All right. So also with that past person, you might have found out some things about this person. Um, even though you want to hold on to that, you realize that that's not the healthiest connection that uh, you need. You may realize some things about this person. So you're moving on. Okay. Meeting new people, evolving, transform, transforming, healing, and growing here. 
All right, you got a stalker. Somebody's watching you, or maybe you're watching somebody. I don't know. All right, let's see. All right, you might look at this person's profile, or this person might be looking at your social media profile, checking out your pictures, just seeing what's going on with you. Um, I don't know why, but I just got that someone here is really interested in the person, would want to talk to that person possibly all day long, but instead of uh, seeming like they're a bit obsessive or codependent or what some people would call clingy or whatever, this person, instead of calling you all day, they, you know, check out your social media, looking at your pictures, possibly smiling and reminiscing the last conversation that you had. They may be actually going through, you know, the text messages and all that stuff. Or this could be you. Why am I getting this? I don't know, but okay. All right. So, like I said, you know, what well, I didn't say, but someone here might be kind of struggling to, you know, kind of come out of the wormhole where, where you're like, you know what, my past relationship didn't work out. Kind of hesitant about this situation, you know, the what if, the shoulda, coulda, woulda, and all that, you know what I'm saying? Don't put limits on yourself, sweetheart, okay? The thing is to start off slow and also, you know, allow this person to earn your trust, okay? Um, see, wow, I just heard, see what you're working with, but not like that sexually, but see what energy this person is working with and move accordingly, okay? Uh, looks like you're mastering some karmic lessons here, so as to where you may have um, impulsively jumped into a situation. Now you're taking your time, um, you know, allowing people to show you exactly who they are and you're believing them. Okay. But yeah, there's that. So take your time here, sweetheart. Okay. All right. Some of you are struggling with being vulnerable. Hold on. I know. I'm sorry. It's just too much like right to pick up this chair and move things out the way. All right. So we got vulnerable, irritated. <laughs> Some of you might be irritated having to start off all over again or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, I get it. I get it. But it is what it is. You know, um, sometimes you just want to find your person. And why do I have to go through this plethora of, of unpleasing situations or whatever? You know what I'm saying? And it, it could be... A bit frustrating. I get it, okay? Um, but, you know, you never know why Source has us go through things. Sometimes it's for our own good. Sometimes it's actually for the good of others, okay? In this past connection, there might have been uh, situations where you actually felt powerless. And maybe there was a situation or two that, you know, um, you kind of felt like humiliated or whatever. Maybe... You were in a long-term relationship with this person and you actually invited them, you know, I was going to say to the cookout, wow, you invited them into the family and now this person is no longer a part of the family. So um, there's people that possibly ask questions, hey, what happened to so-and-so, you know, that you were dealing with? Oh, well, and you're finding yourself having to make excuses for this person's absence or whatever, you know, so that could possibly be a little bit humiliated here. One of the red flags here is that um, sometimes, don't kill the messenger, sometimes we don't take responsibility for our actions in a connection as well, because after all, it does take two. Sometimes that person may, um, you know, act in a way that um, instead of responding, we react to it. So our behavior comes uh, just as, becomes just as bad as theirs. And both of us become toxic to each other, okay? So I see that you're actually going to take responsibility for the actions and the role that you played in this connection as well, okay? So that's pretty cool. Learning and growing and moving on from a situation. Also, when it comes to the new situation, source is telling you, you know what? We're here. Ask us for help. You understand your guys, your angels, your ancestors are here. I'm here. You can go straight to me. You know, if you want, you know, I'll give you some of the answers. Just don't go blindly. That's what we're giving it to you for. Okay. Yeah. See, in this past person, that rejection here. All right. Was divine protection. You may be the one that cut that past person off, but their behavior is what made it happen. Okay. So maybe Source was trying to protect you from something that did not, uh, 
that wouldn't have benefited you in your future, okay? So right now we see things because it's happening right now, but we don't see uh, what God sees as far as like five years down the line, six months down the line, okay? All right, time apart will help you really uh, get to see some of the things that you were actually putting up with, dealing with, going through, okay, having to heal from, okay? If you have to heal from a relationship, that tells you a lot right there. That's not something that you should uh, strive to go back towards, okay? You've learned a lot of spiritual lessons here, mastering those lessons as well. Not only in the 3D, but like I said, it's actually having you look at things from a different perspective, possibly looking at things like karma, how that actually works, how um, the seeds that you sow, how you actually really uh, can benefit or be tortured by your harvest. You understand? So being mindful, it, it will actually make you change how you, uh, the energy that you put out there, okay? Because, see, you can do some dirt behind somebody's back and not realize that that dirt is sitting up there watching it pile up, okay? Watching it pile up and then it comes back into your life and you're like, damn, that's messed up. Why did this happen to me? And you don't put two and two together. Remember that relationship that you stuck your fingers in last, what, five years ago that it wasn't your business? I'm just saying, maybe it was your daughter, your cousin, your friend, your brother, your sister, whatever it was, you should have stayed out of it and maybe you didn't. And this is what's happening. This is your karma coming back. And what is it affecting? Someone that you wanted badly, Okay. Um, that doesn't necessarily have to be the scenario. It could be that maybe this person needed to learn some karmic lessons. Maybe you needed to set up some boundaries or whatever. And sometimes just on a whim, sometimes we get crappy per people in our lives. You understand? Cause it just happens. They just show up. All right. So without God's plan or, you know, without him having some type of, you know, oh, learning lesson or whatever they just show the hell up all right so there's that so you're mastering some lessons here all right this is also telling you to find that passion within sweetheart try something that you've never done before this is also looking at new people hell some of you might want to go you know date someone from a different culture different ethnic group or whatever i don't know okay you do have a twin flame uh connection that is coming up for you and uh yeah this is actually this new connection is going to move towards commitment marriage here so you could have a twin flame union approaching you here sweetheart okay give me more messages for Virgo. Mm. All right. Ooh. Okay, so I keep wanting to call you Libra. All right, so Virgo, some of you might be dealing with a Libra here, okay? Or might have someone um, with that in their chart here. All right, I kind of feel that this is you. You want to feel that way again. You miss this person. You love that person. When it was good, it was damn good. All right. Unfortunately, uh, it kind of seems like you may have seen this person with someone else. You might have found out that they were dealing with other people and you decided, you know what? I'm good. I'm not about to fight for this. You probably have, uh, you know, put your gloves on before, stood up for this person like, hey, you know what? I'm here. I'm about to be seen. Uh, this person is mine. And yeah, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, you got to kick rocks. But you got to realize, and I think this is something that you realize here, sweetheart, you're, you're fighting a losing battle because first of all, if you have to compete with someone over your person, your person allowed that other person in their life, okay? So my philosophy is, I don't know how you feel about it, but my thing is, is that if you're struggling between two people, choose that other person, hands down. You understand? I'm not getting ready to stand in no competition for anyone. If you're not going to outright choose me, deuces, period. Why would I be someone's second guess? You understand? If you have to go between two people, choose that other person. Back yourself out of the equation. It is what it is. It shouldn't be that hard. All right? You left when you saw this person with someone else. Right about now. You may try to act like, uh, you know, if someone asks you about this person, you may not kind of react or whatever. But on the inside, I'm quite sure your insides are doing a whole, I don't know, I just heard the Harlem shimmy. What is that? The Harlem shake. 
<laughs> like, huh? I don't know. Don't mention that person to me. You understand, but you are grateful for the spiritual lesson. You've learned some things here. You also may feel that you and this person were too young. You may have history with this person, or maybe it's just a maturity thing, okay? Maybe you were spiritually immature. There's growth that was needed here for not only you, but for this person as well. Um, quiet as I keep wanting to call you Libra. You could be dealing with Libra. Okay, as quiet as it's kept, sweetheart, you and this person may not have been equally yoked in the first place, all right? So, there's that too, all right? Someone is up at night thinking about the situation. Uh, you may feel like this person was false, false, phony. You found out a whole bunch of things about this person from, you know, ugh, what is this? Who is this? Look at this, okay? There could have been other people here, multiple people here. This person was wearing a false mask with you, okay? Telling you one thing and doing something else, all right? You may be kind of thinking about this. This person was possibly a player here, absolutely. Looks like you uh, really made a head over heart decision. This hurt. Yeah, they like a, a lot of attention here. This person likes a lot of attention. They get a lot of attention, okay? This person might be very arrogant. Um, they like to be the center of attention. When you pull back your energy, here they come, all right? You're realizing the truth about this person. They give very little, if anything at all. You were overgiven in a situation here. What did I just say? Mm, exactly when I when I said it. It came out. You're giving, 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 but this person isn't giving anything to you, leaving you starving for affection, love, um, all these things, validation and everything. You understand? Very slow to commit. If they commit, you find out that they're doing all kinds of things behind your back. You're looking at this person like, damn, you know what? I really love you, though. But why don't you just act right? They can't. You understand? They can't. This person is acting exactly like how they were. How they are. They're showing you who they are. Yeah, stuck, stagnant, um, emotionally immature. This person is not growth oriented, okay? You're learning some things here about this connection. You understand? This person is actually in your life for a reason to teach you some things, baby. You got to set some boundaries here, all right? Control this monster, and it could be the monster within one that's keeping you stuck, all right? That desire, that, that, that passion that you have for this person, that history, I don't know, but somebody needs to move on, yeah. All right, this may be closing out because of karma, this past person, let it go, let it go, it's something new, something new for you. What did I say, something new, you got clarity about the situation, and it's time for you to take action here, sweetheart. All right, moving to karma waters, letting this dark entity out of your life, okay? This is, uh, this situation has come to a close. Yeah. It's time to block your life out. Block your life out. Block this person out of your life. You understand? All right. Move forward. We need happiness, celebration, people that are going to compliment your life here. All right. Time to find the joy back into, back into your life. Yeah. Create the life that you want, that passion, that drive, that stability. All right, you got something new coming in. This past person is a burden, period. All right, so it's it's time to release that. And when I say by burden, you've learned a lot of lessons through this connection. Um, some you may not have heeded during the during the time that you were going through it, not even immediately after. But during this separation, you'll start to see some things and realize some things that you know what. I did myself a disservice by dealing with this person. All right, so there we go. You settled for way less than you deserve, baby. Way less than you deserve. Okay. You stayed in this situation entirely too long. All right, give me new person. So if you don't have any clarity about the new people that's coming in your life, like I said, you have help. Ask for help here. I see that you're, uh, you're healing here, sweetheart. You got multiple options coming towards you, too. Some you're going to turn down. Every option ain't good. So use your uh, discernment here. All right. Ask your angels if you question it. All right. But take that leap of faith to actually get yourself out there. OK, focus on your finances, your stability, your overall overall 
well-being and peace and joy and happiness, okay? Find that within yourself first instead of looking for a connection, okay? So that way, when someone comes in, you won't be overly codependent about a connection and someone staying. You won't find yourself chasing this person when they pull back or they decide to go. Let them go. If they want to go, let them go. You understand? Don't hold on to somebody that's trying to struggle and let go. It reminds me of that cartoon with that little girl, Elmira. All right, when she pick up the, the, the puppies and the cats and she squeezed the hell out of them and the animals see her coming and they're trying to bounce. You understand? Everybody knows. Run. We don't want to be that person, okay? You're clinging on too, high, too tight. Let them go. All right, let's see. Give me more information. We got a new person. All right, King of Swords. I see you making head over heart decisions here. Let's see. All right. So, Virgo, baby. All right, my love. I see you. I see you. I see you. All right. So, you turning down offers. And why am I getting this? Because you want this past person. All right, this is for someone missing. You guard it. I get it. I get it. You finding people that just want sex. Um, yeah. All right. And then too, someone here is still wounded behind a, a past relationship wanting to reconcile. Somebody here wants to take this past relationship and bring it into common waters. Can we just reconcile and, you know, work things out here? I have some things that I would like to get off my chest, too. Some things that I would like to say. You're not equally yoked with this past person, sweetheart. And whatever the connection is, I don't know if it's the history or whatever. Anybody that comes towards you is not comparing to that past person. So you're bypassing offers. We got the four of cups here with the four of cups. And you could be bypassing someone that wants the ten of cups with you. Yeah, see, that's why you haven't gotten over the betrayal. Some of you are single. Someone here may actually be kind of drinking a little bit too much too. Be mindful of that. Your intake there, sweetheart, okay? It's time to focus on healing. And one of the reasons why you like this is because the offers that you're getting are not your wish fulfillment. All right, so you're cutting people off here. I see it. Let's see. Not interested. One in that past person. Okay. All right. So. All right. We got somebody that's coming towards you, though. Oh, God. Why am I getting ready to call you Libra? Stop. Um. Damn, this is crazy. Someone here wants to take a leap of faith towards this past person to see if you guys can bring this together. They're trying to avoid a tower. You cannot avoid this tower. Source is knocking this down situation. This situation down. Sorry. Yeah. It's time to heal. You got to realize the truth about this situation. It's time to heal, sweetheart. Somebody's trying to avoid the situation. They're trying to hold on to it. You can't. It's going to go down. I'm going to tell you something. If you don't leave the situation, source is going to close this door and it's going to be painful. It is going to be painful. Let's see. I get it. Yeah, you got love for this person. I get it. You're not speaking to this person right now, though, because of betrayal. You're holding back. This person stabbed you in the back. Look at that. <laughs> The strength card lands over here on the Ten of Swords with the Six of... Wow, but someone is watching this person online. You got to stop. See, this is supposed to be about your new person here. Somebody wants to come in with communication. Look at that. Possibly offering some type of apology or compromise here. This is supposed to be about your new person, but all this is is your past person. Somebody wants to bring balance into the past relationship. They're in hermit mode. Someone's sad, depressed. Damn, possibly watching someone move on in their life. Yeah, taking a break from the situation. So-called healing, but wanting to work on the connection. 
being strategic. How am I going to show up? I got to go get my person back. Virgo, stop it. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. You got to let it go, baby. You got something. You better ask your angels about this situation. Somebody wants a successful outcome here. Mm, it's not going to happen. Somebody's going to get breadcrumbed. Yep. What did I say? You're going to get stuck. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. Will that person open up communication and things like that? Will they allow you in? Yep. Why? Because they like the attention. They like the chase. They like being wanted, desired. You understand? Absolutely. But you need to close the cycle out, sweetheart. Look for something new, something that's going to bring balance into your life, okay? And not someone that's bringing all this sneakiness and creepiness in your life. I'm just saying, you're dealing with a player here. And it lands over here on the strength card. Sweetheart, it's time for you to pull up your strap boots, find the strength and courage to move forward from this person, okay? Stop bypassing these other offers here because you're bypassing things that could be a blessing. Look at that. A blessing. You stressing over somebody else and you missing out on the blessing. All right, it's time to make a head over heart decision about this player. It is what it is. It's going to hurt, yeah, because the the past history with this person, but it's possibly only sex. I'm just saying for somebody here, for you, it might be love. For them, it might be sex. It's time to start something new. Invest your time into you, sweetheart. Make a decision to walk away from the past and start something new. Let's see. Yep. Lead a situation out in the cold. This arrogant person here. Focus on healing, okay? Focus on healing. Give to your own self here. You do have somebody else that's coming in that you're manifesting, but your attention is actually on someone else. So, oh my goodness, this is crazy. And I also got that someone here might be dating out of spite. Okay, you may feel that this person is watching you online. Somebody's watching someone online. I know that for sure. Um, to keep up with what this person is doing. Or they're trying to keep up with you to see how you're feeling. Especially if this is somebody that likes all the attention that you're giving them, sweetheart. This person is all online to see if you're, you know, posting subs and, oh, I miss them. And they did this to me and all this other stuff. And whoop, whoop, whoop. You understand what I'm saying, sweetheart? Mm, scratch that. It's time to move on from this. Time to do some shadow work. Focus on what you need to focus on and focus on healing emotionally detached. Wow. Are you protecting yourself from unwanted drama or stress? Feel positive emotions within yourself. To feel emotions is to feel lively. Okay, so right about now, you might have shut down. You might have some compulsive behaviors here as well. Um, that could be looking at this person online. Um, wow. Um Maybe doing things impulsively like, oh my God, like that get back. You might be posting subs. You might be, hopefully you're not playing on phones and all the other kind of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, you may see things that this person is intentionally posting online and things like that to get you to react. All right. So you might be reacting to it. Cut that person out. Stop it. All right. It's time to heal. Close that door and don't be worried about what this person is doing in their life, okay? Live your best life. All right, anything else for Virgo? Hopefully, new person, please. I want to see you with someone new. Yeah, leave that situation behind, sweetheart. It's toxic. And that landed on, wow, that landed on passion. Try something you've never done before. And what is this? My life is not as together as it seems, okay? So, with that being said, yeah, it's time to leave this situation. Focus on yourself. Focus on your healing here. Also, the person that you're interested in from the outside looking in, things look good, but they're not, all right? I'm just saying, it's time to walk away from this situation. You got something else coming in. Yeah, this person might have triggered some, some deep wounds in here. Maybe this is why this person is actually um, in your life here. There is distance between you two. You might have moved away from this person or um, there's an energetic distance. You need to put distance between this person because someone here is emotionally triggered. This person brings out things in you that is not healthy. All right. But if it's coming to the surface, at least you're aware of it and you can heal from it. OK, and grow from it. All right. I'm going to try this one more again and see if we can get something new for Virgo. 
And if not, I'm just going to leave it as is, okay? Give me messages. We got a new connection down for Virgo. We got the Seven of Cups. All right, the Five of Cups. There's regret here. Damn. Oh, my God. Yeah, this isn't going to show up for the new person here, sweetheart. We got to move on. We got to move on from this, from the regret, from the drama, from the illusions, from the chaos here, okay? Um, not being funny, some of you might even be connected with this past person's family. It's time to cut ties, baby, okay? If you're not related to these people, it's time to, to cut ties because some of these people may actually be creating a lot more com uh, chaos in the situation, okay? Manipulating the situation because they like the drama, all right? So there's that. I can't, I can't, I can't get anything else for you, sweetheart. This is telling you take a leap of faith. First of all, it's telling you to focus on healing, leave that behind, but learn the lessons. Take the lessons that you learn with you. Focus on a new situation here and be diligent about leaving anything toxic behind in your life. Okay. Be determined to move forward and heal from this situation. Okay. But like I said, we're going to do it like this. Hmm. Look back at the past and see what it is, all right? Realize what it is. Know that Source has something brand new for you, okay? You just have to take that leap of faith and jump towards it, okay? But in case you have some, some type of issues, not sure about this, you don't trust your intuition, ask Source, your angels, your ancestors, your guides, for clarity, discernment, ask them to help you get through this situation so that you can see, um, you know, people for who they are and not what we want them to be, okay? All right, you guys, for right now, I'm going to shut this down. I will be back later on today with Libra, Scorpio, Saggy, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. All right, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.